Hi all, in this video, let's learn about how to create the desktop notifications using JavaScript. Usually we do this with the help of the notification API. So let's see that. So firstly, let's write a function. So I'm writing a function called show notification. So this is a function. So inside this function, what we'll write is, we'll create an instance for the notification API. I'm creating a new instance for the notification API. And the first parameter is a title. So let me say this as a new desktop notification. So this is a title for the desktop notification. And second parameter, you can have object. So this is optional properties. You can give whatever the properties you want. So as a body, I'm, I'm just want to give this the body as front end stuff. And if you want few more properties, you can give the icon and you can provide the local path for this icon as well. But for now, let's go with this body first. So now we have a function in which if anyone calls this function, we can show our desktop notification. So this is what's ready. But now it's not like we can directly show the notification to the users. Firstly, we need to take the permission. So notification or the permission. If the user has granted the permission, so then only you can show the notification. So then directly you can call this show notification function. So this is the first point. So here the notification permissions has a couple of things. Like first is if the user can grant the permissions, so then the notification can be shown. So that is what we have covered here. So if he denied the notifications, so then we will not show our notifications. If he did not allow the notifications or he did not delay the notifications, then that is a default. Okay. If the user selects the default one, it means if he has not done any action, then again, what we do is we will, we are verifying the notification permissions. This is not equal to denied. And then what we are going to do is we'll again call this notification request notification not request permissions. So this is an uh, promise. So that's the reason I'm writing this as a then. So now we are writing this permission permission. So inside this again, if the user has not selected grant, if he select grant, yes, we'll directly call the notification. If, he, if the permission is denied, then we'll not show the notification. If we not select both of them, then the permission becomes default. Then we are searching if the permission is default, it means not denied, then it is default. So again, we are showing this notification one more time. So then if this permission, so if this permission is equal to grant now, so then again, you can show the notification method. You can call the notification function. So this is a minimum lo lo logic to show the notifications, desktop notifications. So let's execute this once. So let me refresh this first. So once you refresh this, see, this is what we are going to get. So now if the user selects allow, it means he's granting the permission for the notifications. If he select block, it means he's denying the notifications. Then you, you should not show the notification to him if he select block. If he select allow, you can show the notifications. If he select into mark, then it, this is default. So for that, we wrote this logic. This if else is for the default permissions. So let's say that if he, the user is allowing the desktop notifications, so I'm clicking allow. So once the user click this allow, we'll be getting the desktop notification. So it may take one minute or two minutes like that. So to get the desktop notifications, it, it may take some time. So meanwhile, let me explain you once you get this desktop notification. So let's write some event on that desktop notification. So let me write that event. So meanwhile, uh, we may think that it will be getting in minute or like that. So fine. So meanwhile, if you get any desktop notification, so if you click that notification, so you, you can do whatever the task you want. Okay, for that, what you need to do notification dot on click. So this event you can write notification dot on click and I'm writing an arrow function here. So event, let me say this as event and I'm writing an arrow function here. So once you got this notification, what you want to do? Okay, that will be available in this code. So what I want to do is let me do like window dot location dot href. So I want to modify when someone clicks that notification. So I want to redirect the user to any of the blocks. So let me say that as a youtube.com. So let, let me redirect him to my YouTube channel. 
okay so this is my youtube channel so once you get the notification so you can click this if you click that notification in this on click event you can write whatever the task you want okay the, for example i wrote here i am modifying the href okay when uh, the notification was clicked in that browser this notification will be modified so usually if the notification was not came or it is coming delay so you can see the notifications here so you'll be getting some notification here at this place okay usually it takes some time so let's wait for some time on this So what happens is like uh, this desktop notification will work in HTTP yes usually. So I'm trying this in a local server. So if you point that to the direct this path, it is not showing. So that's the reason I tried this with the local server. So I guess some notification came into picture. So this is what the notification came. So this is how the notification comes. Okay. Now, if you click this notification, also we have handled the click event. So, if I'm clicking this notification, so it is directly re redirecting to this URL. Okay. Of course, this URL was not appended here, but you can redirect to this wherever you want, or you can do whatever the task you want here. Okay. So, that is how the desktop notifications will be available here. So, usually it, it would be coming like a pop here. In uh, check your Chrome settings whether those are allowed or not desktop notifications. So this is dependent upon our Chrome settings as well. Okay, so let me show this once again. So if it is uh, able to get this as a pop or not. So dot HTML. So once you click this. So you got this notification. See, you got the new notifications like this. So once you click this notification, what happens now you could be redirected to whatever the URL you kept. We kept this wrong. So as a window dot location was taken this. So that's the reason this is wrong. But apart from this, so this is how you are going to handle this notifications. This is how the desktop notifications will appear here. And if you click them, you can do whatever the action you want. So this is all about creating the desktop notifications uh, using JavaScript. The, the main things you need to understand it is you need to allow the notifications. Okay, that is the first point. And also this should work in H HTTPS. So it means you need to run in the live server. So I have run this in the live server by installing this live server extension in the Visual Studios. I could able to run them with the live server like by right clicking open with live server. Then we could able to get that notifications. So once we got that notification, so we could able to, we can click this notification. We could do whatever the task we want. So this is all about creating the desktop notification. So hope you understand the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you.